DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. No, oh, is it broke? Joy. No, I don't think so. Broken glasses. Who are you? I know who you are. You're coming to play later on. Um, let's speak to her. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? I, I don't, I have never read this book. I don't know what it's about. It's funny. It's funny. Uh, the title's actually a play on the song, Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? And that's funny? It is, if you're the wolf. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're right, Who said that? Who the fuck said that? Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. Oh, she seems sweet. Like, I don't know. Awkward. Okay. Uh, anyone else? I don't think there's anyone else important. Let's move on. What the hell? Oh shit! I recognise him. Twitch. Don't call me that. It's Nathan. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Some Give unconscious girls, you know. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Stop being dicks. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Why does it seem like a mute to me? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow, great comeback, wow. Nathan. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone! You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. Uh-oh. You're a piece of shit. I am going Stop to it. kill you. You guys! We don't know what it is Stop. that he's got there. Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! You're standing there watching? But then again, I am the hero. I'm gonna step in. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. Uh, I don't know I've about that. Drew down. He is twice your size. Goddamn. What the hell did you just say to me? Um, uh, idiot. Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. <laughs> it's like, oh You're shit. Seriously, defending. Nathan Prescott? I'm gonna get two black eyes at this point. Nathan's an easy target. Oh, that's, he's standing right there. <laughs> which I hear is pretty small. <laughs> oh, damn. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. Do you want to know what's crazy? What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? Piece of bromance? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. <laughs> <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. God shut damn. the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Holy shit, I'm making an impression. Go Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? 
from you? Yes, yes you did. You're welcome. You whiny little bitch. Are you all right? And security has turned up late as always. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? Oh, you don't look like David. No I thought you security guard. That was easy. Hey, is everything good? Yep. Okay, I won't investigate further. My job is done. Uh, I've got a text. Mum. Glad we talked. Me too. I know you're doing your best. Love you. I guess David hasn't gone back home yet. To tell her how much we blew up on him this morning. God damn, you don't need to cover the fucking windows in the same advertisement. Talk, just one more excuse for mom to sick David on me. Oh yeah, I know you. Oh good. You're here. That's Rachel Amber. She's magically knew it was there. She has mind powers. I do beseech you. Chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What? Is your name Miranda? Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good, admired Miranda. Indeed, worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to. Uh, many a time, the harmony of their tongues. Uh, hath I listened to? Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Oh, Keaton. Damn. Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? Well, of course the drama teacher would be dramatic. Better. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking that good. That was awkward for right? me. Very cool. Exquisite Rachel as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with my affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. Here's a person I found in the street. The question is. Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Uh, I'm just a chemistry student. Uh, I don't know anything about this. So, are we going to side with Miranda or the dude? Um, I'm going to say Miranda is an idiot. Keep trying to use the control, for fuck's sake. an idiot, because... Falling in love is stupid. What is she? Twelve? That's the worst reason for that answer. Actually, she's about fifteen. So your point, whoever you are, about being an <laughs> idiot or being naive is well taken. I love the writing Thanks, in this Mr. game. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Uh, hello. <laughs> Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? Well, you should know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay. So, why am I here again? That is a oh, good question. Oh, belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. You go get it. Why am I getting this? What the fuck? Uh, yeah. Sure. You're literally in the same room as me. I'm only okay. one step further towards uh, the bag. Get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like. Okay, so Chloe's nervous. I can just go through her things, why not? Who's this? A father? Rachel looks so happy here. We can use this picture as a belt. There's Rachel's belt. Yeah, I'll go give this to Rachel now. Yes. Mario Sucker's Prosperia 
If he's had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is all you got, Mr. K, to cast you, you slut? Well, wow, fucking hell. Someone's having a conversation behind there. So there is a drawing point around here. I think there might be two. I might just double check my guide. What we have to do is mess with this. One's a Nathan or a Halo for Rachel. Do a Halo for Rachel. Save my life. Get some ink. I believe I know where the rest are. Let me just double check. I don't know about moving canvas. Oh, I do them that one, actually. They're very vague clues. Like, they don't really match up to... ...to where they actually are. It's very vague. Like this one, moving canvas. It's a train. You know that? That's that's too vague for me, at least. Um, so one, two, maybe four? We'll see. I know where the next stars, anyway. So I've got uh, a belt. Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we've got some choices to make about our relationship with Rachel. We can throw it over, but that, it's a bell. It's metal, I think. It should have a metal piece on it. It'll hit her on the head, but that'll hurt. Let's just bring it to her. And be a bit pervy. I am coming round now. Do not be alarmed. You should announce yourself, Chloe. God damn. Uh, that was a cool costume. I really liked your costume. I like Thanks. this one much better. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Just this belt. Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. I'll let you finish changing now. Very punk. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Uh, Firewalk was really good. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? That's strange. Maybe it doesn't. Where are you where are you going with this? Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye. That is a hell of a battle scar. Do it's really it not. Some makeup? Uh, I guess this might have a consequence later down the line. But everybody's seen me with the black eye. I don't think it'll matter now. Um, that's nah, fine. Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. It's not even that much bad. Respect. It's not that bad. Let's get the hell out of here. It's like if you scratch your skin too hard. That's what it looks like. This is from Life is Strange 1. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus or... Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Now the world's slowest train. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? A train. I don't know, I was actually prepared for some quick time events there. Oh, bad video games have prepared me for the worst. Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. So you don't actually know. Great. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Trees. I like trees. The view's amazing. Oh, yeah. oh, here we go. Hey, why aren't you in chem? Everything okay? 
Yep. What happened with Drew? People saying you were awesome. Yeah, I know I am. Yo, let's talk later. Okay. Rachel wants me to pull up. What are you doing, Chloe? The fuck's that? Maybe one of these crates. There's a fly around. All right, so there is a drawing point around here, collectible. We have to move this first. Things heavier than it looks. Okay, and then we go behind here. Down. Have a look. I see humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. Let's add to it. What have we got? What's our options here? We are monsters, everybody lies. I like that one. It's a good quote. It's house. Unless house was quoting somebody. Everybody lies. I like that. It's kind of lame compared to the other two quotes, you know. Okay, let's sit down. Let's join Rachel. I'm just sitting there. All right, Chloe. What the fuck were you doing back there, Chloe? Took forever. With Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Uh, hi. You like stuff? Is this Stuff's cool. Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Uh, do you like awkward you silences? I'm very good at them. Uh, nice weather. Ooh, that's a bad one. Let's, let's, I don't like any of those options. I'm going to go, go ahead with nice weather at the least. You've got to... You've got to start the conversation somehow, right? It's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? I mean weather. Oh, nice I love weather. the writing in this game, that was so good. It sure is. That's what happens when you overthink stuff. When you say it over and over again in your head, and then when Sorry. you say it out loud, it's just completely it's different. It's like, what was the point? Out. Why did they even put all that effort in? Because I don't hang out with anyone, and I don't have any friends. You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Um, Mr. Keithner, was that the the uh, drama teacher? I'll just say thanks, I guess. Hey, so I want to say thanks for pulling you out of school. No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah, uh, if you hadn't shown up, assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. And you picked me. Um... If you wanted company, why go for all this effort? We're going to need more than that. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun. Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. Okay, let's flip. V card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Try story. Wow. And that was probably the Too wrong far. choice. Well, I don't know. Uh, okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. It'll be fun. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Yeah, it's just exactly, it's the name of the game. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. You're on. 
I've played through this game multiple times. I should be able to be able to fucking hell, be able. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Porky Pig. Um, I should be able to remember. I'm ambidextrous. What the options are? Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. Mm, I, I want to do that sooner than later. Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. So, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? Hmm. I bet it's the Leo. Although, I think... <laughs> The one that would be the most obvious as a lie is ambidextrous, but we're going to go ahead with Leo. You're way too lucky to be a Leo. You've got to be a Sagittarius or something. The Archer? That'd be cool. Like Artemis? Oh, damn. But I'm afraid I was telling the truth. Seriously? Hear me roar. <laughs> no, the lie was New York. I've never been there, though I want to one day. I was born in Long Beach. New York's on the bucket list, then. Sounds good. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start <laughs> things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Okay, let's do true first. Which means it makes me throw up, except that you like that song from your father. I love science. I wanted to be a pirate as a kid. I think she'll obviously think country music makes you throw up is the truth because you're a punk. Science, you could be nerdy or pirate as a kid. Let's go with science. Again, pirates, you could relate to being a punk. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. For a lion. Broke my hand punching someone. I'm allergic to cats. I'm in a band. Um, I'm allergic to cats. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Swear. And the truth. I want to be a pirate as a kid. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. My pirate films all the time. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> so, pirate, obviously true. Want to join me? Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. Okay, you say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work? That yeah, Blackwell's a hellhole. That place is a hellhole filled with shit where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? 
I'm oh, she said truthfully, I would say, yep. I mean, There's only one lie remaining. You're allergic, but I've passed by your locker a few times, and I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. His name was Bongo, and you really pay attention to other people. God damn. His name was Bongo. It was a gift from my dad. Did he pass away? Yeah. My dad died two years ago. I thought oh, everyone knew that. I think she meant the cat. I meant Bongo. Oh dear, that oh was God. awkward. Of course, that's what you meant. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's okay. Awkward moment of the year. <laughs> Definitely. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. You didn't make up your own rules. You're not a winner. The human condition. I'm impressed. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. Well, that's not it. I have to do I with anything. Call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. Pirate's cool. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. The game seems to freak out now and again with Chloe's head. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Are we going to trust a girl we met like yesterday? Trust is hard. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. Well, no, so emo. I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. And now the awkward silence is back. I wouldn't mind listening to some music. Listen alone? That would be a, such a dick move. Sure, Rachel. Hey, wanna listen? Wanna share some earwax? A good 10 seconds of music. Full bracelet. Oh, that's a from Life is Strange One. Yes, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Uh, what? What does that mean? I don't understand that option. I hear you. I want to get out as well. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day I'm just out of here. She's giving I'm Chloe crazy eyes. I don't like that. Check it out. We're here. What? Where is here? Jump and find out. Did you say jump? Jump. Jump. Is that when Rachel just stays in the train? Yeah. <laughs> I was getting bored of the conversation. You jump, I'll stay here. And that's how both her ankles were broken. Just like the wizard, except the wizard lost his ankles. Regardless, they're crawling home tonight. 